Hey everyone, so today I'm taking a look at uh, some fans from Corsair called the ML Pro series. Um, and these are actually the LED uh, versions. There's um, non LED uh, versions of this product. These are quite pricey, even for Corsair, Corsair fans, with that, which I've always found were were, you know, somewhat, you know, middle of the range expensive in terms of other fans. But what, what's interesting about the, the ML series um, is that they use um, what's called magnetic bearings. So, uh, supposedly, this means that uh, the fan noise is going to be, uh, well, the bearing noises are going to be quite low as they're kind of, I guess, like floating and, and not really touching anything is the idea that I'm, that I'm kind of understanding from... Uh, what I'm looking at here in the, uh, the back of the box here is this harness, harnesses magnetic levitation technology to provide lower noise, higher performance, and a longer lifespan. So, and in terms of lifespan, I mean, I, they must really believe that because these actually come with a, a five-year warranty, I believe? Uh, four or five years. The 140, anyway, goes from 400 to 2000, 2000 RPM. Uh, sound level is between 16 and 37 dBA. Airflow uh, 20 to 100 CFM, and your static pressure is uh, 0.2 to 3.0 millimeters H2O. Um, these all use four pins, which is great, so <clears throat> you'll be able to control them on your motherboard um, or any other kind of connectors that you might have that might control all of your fans. So, yeah, I have actually four, I have five. 140 fans that I got and then I have at the top there you see two 120 uh, so I'm gonna be installing these all in my uh, my case but first what I'll do is I'll, I'll open up one of the one of the 140 so you can have a look at it outside of the box this is one of the 140s so as you can see the blades themselves are are clear um, and then in the center you have your you'd have your LED lights uh, which is in, in this case the red. The sides have red here um, that are that are soft uh, rubber, so to help eliminate any possibility of noise. These sides apparently can be replaced with different colors. So if you didn't want to have red corners and you wanted to have like white or blue, um, you could do that as well. Um, change it up. Um, and what came with in the box as well is your your screws um, and a few tie offs there. Now unfortunately. I, w I was hoping for how much these fans cost uh, that there would be a uh, uh, an adapter to help lower the voltage even more if you wanted to, but uh, it doesn't come with that. So uh, you do have to control the um, the fan speed uh, strictly through the four pin through your motherboard or fan controller. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I it's really nicely. Uh, obviously, it, it looks you know. Nicely built. Um, it has these kind of cross X patterns on on the sides, uh, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's get it. Um, let's get them installed in the system and see what it looks like uh, all installed and lit up. I've got it a little bit darker here, so you can kind of see the lighting effect since I'm filming during the daytime. So you can see the red LEDs add a fair bit of of light to, to the system and so I have uh, the red scheme going across because I have my MSI uh, GTX 1080 gaming card which has the red LEDs built on uh, and then the Sound Blaster card underneath has red LEDs as well so trying to go with a red scheme here since I have other components that have red LEDs um, as well so um, this is uh, at the, the fan speed on my particular Corsair case uh, has a built-in fan controller so I can set between low, medium, high. The sound you're hearing right now is with uh, the fans set at low. So what I'll do now is I'll cycle through the fan speed so you can get an idea of how loud these fans are. This is low so I'll let it run for a little bit. And now we have medium. And now we'll put it on high. So high is going to push a lot of air 
Um, these are the these are the, the the fans at their maximum. So you're gonna get obviously great airflow and 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 temperatures, but I personally would not run it at high uh, all the time because this is way too loud for me. And even with the the, the case uh, enclosed uh, with a side uh, panel, it's still really loud. So I basically keep it at low. Um, and I don't know if you noticed with the effect there, but when you cycle through low, medium, high, it does affect the how bright the LEDs are um, because you're adjusting the voltage uh, of the fans um, and then the LEDs as well. So you get a little bit less light with low, but it's still plenty in my opinion. These fans are really high quality, give you great airflow, stack pressure. They're, they're, they're a fan that can be used for both static pressure and, and high airflow. So they're kind of like a, a jack of all trades. Um, so the biggest downside with these fans is they're very expensive. 30 to $40 a fan, depending on what you get um, and where you are. Like that's, you know, a ridiculous amount of money for these fans. Are there other fans out there that can give you as much performance and, and, and everything? Absolutely. I mean, if you want to use Noctua fans, which are great performing fans, but really freaking ugly in my opinion. I have a Noctua a CPU, CPU cooler, as you can see right there, and I am using their their fan, but I have it kind of hidden in between uh, the cooler, so it's not as, you know, noticeable, but they're, you know, if Noctua could, you know, if they could really, you know, design great looking fans, then I wouldn't buy anything else, but uh, at the moment I would say Corsair has the, you know, really high quality fans, and then they also look really nice too, and, and they come with lots of options as well, so... Um, they are going to be releasing some fans that are RGB fans, so um, and I think they're going to be similar in, ter in terms of performance as these fans, uh, but they'll probably be even more money, I imagine, because you you know they're going to charge you more for that RGB uh, capability, in my, uh, I would assume. So if budget is a concern, then these are probably not great fans at the moment. They're new, so they're they're going to be more pricier, and they have the the magnetic. Uh, bearings in them so supposedly they should last longer so at least if you do spend the money you're going to at least you should theoretically have them for a very long time uh, unless you have to switch them out for customization you change your build or something uh, obviously it's not a scientific test or anything I didn't give you much information about you know what exactly RPMs are at each speed and all that kind of stuff I don't really have the equipment and, and, and things to do that but uh, at least you kind of got an idea from the low, medium, high there of what it's going to sound like. Certain components are cooler now than they were before. So, like for example, my graphics card, uh, you know, definitely has dropped a, uh, a few degrees from max load with having these new fans installed versus the other Corsair AF uh, quiet fans that I had. So, but they were running at lower RPMs, so yeah. Anyway, great fans. I don't want to keep this much longer. Go check out Corsair's website. There will be other reviews out there, I'm sure. If there's any questions, let me know. I'll see you later with another video.